Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. Today we're gonna take a couple of trades. Okay, we, we will try to go with the trend, okay? So in this case we have downtrend and also the minor trend is also downtrend. We have this level here, this is closing on this previous support area. So it's gonna act like a resistance, okay? But I didn't take this trade because it has gap down. And gap down here is in the favor of buyers. That's why I didn't take this. And this is a swing doji. If you're wondering why it didn't work, that's just a swing doji. It's not supposed to work, okay? So, okay, look at this. This is a beautiful... Oh my God, look at this. We have base, we have chaos, and then we have doji at the middle. That's a very beautiful trade to take but again yeah we're just gonna look for other opportunities guys okay when you miss an opportunity just move on and go to the next opportunity okay that's the best thing you can do instead of just blaming yourself okay it's because there's tons of opportunities in, in this market okay if we were breaking this candle i would go with oh my god Okay, we have a common point of rejection, which is pretty far. This is also a common point of rejection. Okay, this is the fifth time. For common point of rejection, it's better to take your trade at fifth times. Okay, this is a common point of rejection. And then we have also... We have also this envelope. Okay, let me just go to the lower time frame to see what is inside of that engulfed So we can take a better trade. Okay. Okay, inside of this engulf, we have this QM level. So if we were coming up and we had intersection of these two, it would be very nice. So I'm waiting for uh, this price to come up. You know, we have another QM here. And this is also nice, okay? Okay, it didn't come up. Okay, I go with the buys right here because we have a very nice gap down. And the price is c coming down in a red-green pattern way. So here, the preference is is a, a green candle and also the gap down is uh, in our favor and this is uptrend okay this is common point of rejection i will take a 50 here on this common point of rejection because the candle is moving pretty uh strong and the preference here having a green candle that's why i go with 50. if the preference was having a red candle just like this one Okay, if it was coming up, I would go with 200 because that would be low risk. But this is high risk. We're going against the preference. That's why I go with 50. And you can see that we're going to lose this 50. We're going to win this 200. Okay, this is how you can manage your risk. When you're not sure, you can just take lower amount on the trades that are high risk. So this is going to be my first trade. Okay, let's just move on to the next opportunity look at this this doji is being broken again and uh, we have also a common point of rejection here as well okay i take a common point of rejection here as well with 50 because we haven't break this doji yet. imagine we were breaking this doji and this candle were, was already closed and then the next candle was coming up that would that would be a low risk setup but in this case, since the candle is just going off without even breaking this, you know, as long as it's not closing, we don't consider this as a breakout. Okay, that's uh, what uh, high risk means. Okay, so we take with 50, like three, four 50 losses is going to be equal to one normal trade loss. Okay, that way we can, uh, you know, manage our risk to reward and all that. So here we're breaking this doji. Now the next candle sorry next trade would be 200 because this is a doji break okay we're breaking the space we need retracement okay let me just see if we can combine it with something okay it's closing right on this trend line and oh this trend line is also broken oh look at this hold on hold on no i, I thought it's gonna match up with this one this was a good trade to miss okay anyways we don't care if, if we miss an opportunity okay All right, uh, it created again another doji, it was a winning trade. So here, if we break this doji to the upside, should we take this as a sell? You should be very careful. Why? Because it's an uptrend, it's not a range like this. Look, what is the difference between these two dojis? What is the difference? This is inside of a trend. 
Okay, especially if you have a very huge candle like this. We don't, we don't want to go against it because it's already starting a momentum to the upside. But this one is already in a range and chaos. So it's going to respect the doji. Okay, this might also respect, but we don't care. We, we just want to take the best trade. Okay, you might take the trade and win the trade. But it has lower risk, to, uh, I mean, win, win rate. Okay, so if you winning a a uh, bad trade it's gonna have a negative influence of your mindset because you're gonna keep doing taking the bad trades okay that's why you have to avoid bad trades for example here if we have a doji inside of this we would take the trade because this is chaos this is range okay this is the market not going anywhere but the doji appearing here we don't want to take the next trade as a doji break okay you should be a little bit smart all right, this is a very beautiful engulf. Uh, and I really want to see what is happening inside of this engulf. Okay, if this is the engulf, there should be something happening inside. Okay. Nothing special was happening. What about this one? You know, usually dojis... I mean, engulfs leading to break this, they have something inside of themselves. Let me just draw this. Okay, I wanna go with the bars right here because of this doji. This is a doji break, but Again, we have a ranging market. Okay, we have a ranging market. So I trust this doji. I go with them. And this is also uptrend. So we are with the trend. This is a doji break inside of a range. It's not, a, you know, in the middle of the tr uh, trend. That's why we respect this. And it has also gap down in our favor. So what is against us here? Um, let me see. Nothing really against us. Unless we create this double bottom, I mean double top and then drop, okay, which is not confirmed yet. So yeah, so here, this is not a bad trade, guys. Even if you lose this. Okay, it was a winning trade. And that's it for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed if you did drop a like for me and join the Telegram channel for watching my students' live trades, for watching my students' results. Thank you for watching. Peace out.